guys, welcome back. How are you all doing? How are you all feeling at the moment? We have just had a really, really lovely weekend in London. We try and go every few months, but this trip was for work and we kind of like elongated it slightly. So we had some nice time in between, did some shopping, gonna show you what I picked up. We also went to see the Book of Mormon, which was really good, kind of like last minute, an hour before we were like, should we go see a show tonight? That's what I love about London. And we did one tourist thing that I've never done before. It's always funny when you live somewhere, you never do the really touristy things. But we went into Buckingham Palace to the state rooms, which I've never done before. And actually, I would highly, highly recommend. It was so cool to see. Felt like an absolute tourist because we also saw um, the changing of the guards. But yeah, it was kind of fun to see. It's like one of those things I can tick off now. It's always funny when um, when you kind of meet people from perhaps like other countries or who haven't lived in London and they're like, oh, have you done this? And you're like, no, <laughs> no, it's not the kind of thing that I've ever done. But. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was quite nice because it had like a few Jubilee themed things. But anyway, let me show you some of these picks. This is probably my favorite. And we went all the way to Westbourne Grove to go to the Suzanne store. I love the Suzanne store there. I've been a few times. I do struggle with sizes there though. They don't seem to have very many. And I went particularly for this shirt. I saw this shirt when it came out on the Suzanne's like autumn collection drop. It has the most beautiful coloring to it, but it didn't have any sizes online, so I was like, go to the store, see if they have it. Luckily, I did fit into the size 36, but I think I would have preferred the 38. So I'll try that one on for you in a second. Then the Anthropology on Regent Street is probably one of my favorites, but unfortunately, usually on the lower floor, they have all the homeware, and they had that blocked off. They're obviously redoing it, and I was like, why? <laughs> Um, but I did, I did pick up a few things. I had to, I ended up ordering some of it online. So I picked up these gorgeous like purple wine glasses for autumn, which will be in an autumn video soon. But they were so weak that I didn't want to be carrying them around London. This tissue paper is so fluorescent. Potentially the most random purchase, an egg holder. <laughs> but I loved the print on this one. I just thought it was so gorgeous, as well as the coloring. And it's also dishwasher and microwave safe. Pretty much anything that I pick up for the kitchen has to be because I'm lazy. A little bit of everything, home, fashion, and beauty. My favorite, favorite, probably the one thing that I can't live without now. Before the wedding, I still had kind of like hormonal acne coming up. I really wanted to find something to combat it. I've tried so many things throughout the years, but for some reason I was like, well, let's try this. Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. And honestly, I couldn't be without it now, which is a real shame because prior to the wedding, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll like spend anything. I just want to make sure that it's really great. It's so expensive. It's like ridiculous. This little thing here was <clears throat> £128 but my skin has never been so good. Uh, the lady in there was so lovely. You get 10% off if you sign up for their like loyalty card. And I was already signed up. So she was like, any other emails, just any other email that you may have that you haven't signed up on. Um, so she did give me 10% off, which was nice. Now let's try on some pieces. I, I love every season, don't get me wrong, but I struggle with winter. Like autumn, I enjoy when it gets like slightly cozy and you can be wearing some nice items, but then it gets to winter and it's just like coat, boots, that's it. I feel like this beginning of the season is when you can actually enjoy some different fashions or like some different styles. Sticking with Suzanne for a second, I think this is gonna be one of my favorite items of the season. I'm already wanting to wear it all the time. Kind of like relaxed, but feels a little bit nicer. This jumper I actually picked up from their website. They have brought it back for a few seasons and I missed it before and I was like, this time I'm gonna snap it up straight away. It's got this lovely brown stripe, but they actually do it in a few colors. I think they definitely do it in navy. And I love the buttons that go down. It just feels relaxed, but it fits really nicely, kind of oversized but weirdly still feels like it has some shape to it. And it's a nice knit because it's not that like really fluffy knit that feels really hot. You can definitely be wearing it in this kind of in-between season two. Trousers, jeans, I always struggle with. I was looking for a new pair of jeans this season. You can see kind of like the color of these. This is a belt that I've had since I was probably like, I don't even know, 15 maybe from Hollister. Still love it. Um, but back to the jeans. Yeah, I thought they were a really nice color and I really like the style and fit of them. They're quite soft. They come up quite high-waisted. 
Um, I think they look really nice on the back too, but they're kind of like not, can you even see from here? They're like, they're not too baggy, but they're still a little bit baggy without being too much. You know what I mean? So sometimes they're kind of like a mum jean, in fact they might even be called a mum jean, but I still feel like they're slim enough to not be too kind of like slouchy, which I don't think is really my style. Oh, I just love this shirt so much. It's kind of, it's that kind of item that people remember when you're like, oh, do you remember that shirt from autumn with the, the purple and the olives and the mustard yellow? And they're like, yes, yeah, that one. Because it's kind of like one of those statement pieces. It's, it's just the print. So it's got the print all over the arm, plain on the back there, apart from obviously the lovely collar that goes around. And I love the detail that it has here, just on the collar. And you can kind of see the material. It's um, I think it, I think they said that it was 100% cotton because I was deciding whether to go up or down. Well, basically, whether to keep with this size, which is the size that they had, and they were going to see if they did have the size up, which would have been the 38. And they were like, why? This one, this one, like, fits you more than fine. Like, you can move your arms and move them up and down. But I was like, but when you wash it, <laughs> it's a bit of an issue. Sometimes I feel like clothes just do shrink, even just a little bit when they've been washed a few times. Um, they were saying it's 100% cotton, hopefully shouldn't change too much, so I hope it doesn't because this one is probably like bang on my size if you know what I mean. And in the store they actually had it paired with like a really gorgeous mini skirt with some gold buttons. It was lovely. I don't know why I didn't pick it up, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> I know, another blouse shirt type thing, but I find these white um, shirts that have some of the neck detail an absolute staple for autumn winter, wearing them underneath things. It just really elevates a jumper, makes it a little bit more feminine. But the reason why I love this one is that one thing that I find annoying with shirts is sometimes the cuff. When it's tight, it can get a bit aggravating. I really love that this one was elasticated. It feels it's really easy to pop on and take off. Sometimes, you know, when you've got like a tight collar and you try to take your shirt off and with all your jewelry on, it's a bit of a pain. Um, yeah, so I love that it had that on it. And it's also got the detail going up the sleeve there from the little puff at the bottom. And it's obviously got all of these gorgeous ruffles. In the moment, I think it's still a little bit structured. I like it that when they've been washed a few times and they get a bit softer. And then it's pretty much plain on the back. And I thought this would be perfect for a layering piece. I did pick up an item to go with it. Now I say it like that because this one's a little bit different. I didn't know whether to go for it or not. It was one of those items that I was like, would I wear it? Will I not? And then I tried it on and I was like, oh, it's so lovely. I kind of think it's really cute. So it's this really sweet little gilet. Colour is perfect. Goes with all of those kind of like autumnal vibes. I just thought it was really, really sweet. Especially with this shirt, but you can also wear it with like polo neck jumpers or lots of other things. This year, <laughs> I'm going to need to be keeping myself warm in the house. And I still like to look nice. I find it really hard when you just like chuck on thermals and fleeces in the house and then I just feel like I'm sleeping for the day. So I also thought that hopefully it might be a little bit practical. A layer that's a bit like a jacket but I could wear around the house to keep me that little bit warmer, you know, especially from the days when I'm like filming and you guys probably don't want to see me in my pajamas the whole time. Yeah, and this is just the sweet little print that goes all over it. And then it's also got the lovely big tortoiseshell buttons. Very basic, but a staple for me, a long sleeve <laughs> striped t-shirt for the cooler months. This one, however, is so soft. I mean, it may look like it too, but it feels like I'm wearing my pajamas. And I really like the color of this one. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's basically like a burgundy and like a, a creamy, almost like very light pink. And it just gives like really warm vibes. Um, I have tucked it in slightly there, but... Yeah, can't really see. Yeah, it's kind of like that boxy style, but I love it. Tucked in to some jeans, kind of simple and easy for a relaxed day or a day where you just want to feel more cozy and comfortable. This next piece is a little bit different and I actually bought on Amazon, but this gorgeous classic cardigan, which I love, is Merino wool and it's Aaron Crafted, I think they call it. It's from Ireland. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really warm, but for me, not at all itchy. I have got the stripes on underneath it there. I'm not sure if you can see, but I really wanted to pick up some lovely cable knits for this season. Oh wow, the rain has just started pouring. Sorry if you can hear that, but I love this high neck on this one. I think it looks really classy. And it's like a long length 
Longer than that length. <laughs> ah! Okay, I need to move you back a little bit. Hang on. I think I need to dip you down too. There we go. <laughs> It's one of those like kind of long length oversized cardigans. I think I actually ordered this one, I'll double check, in a medium. I was wondering whether to or not. I'm glad that I did size up because I like these kind of like chunky knits. A little bit more oversized, even though it's not, it's still like, well, I can fit in the long sleeve t-shirt under it, but probably not much more than that. And with this one too, I thought it'd be really practical for my days at home where I wanted to chuck on something a little bit warm, but still look nice. Now I couldn't not include a dress, of course. I love dresses, I'd wear them all the time if I could. But I didn't actually find that many at the beginning of the season that I really loved, apart from this one. I'm hoping that some more come out, maybe like end of September, not that I need them. I'll see then, if I have anything exciting going on, I'll have a look. I usually love to pick up like a burgundy color, but I thought these colors were so, so beautiful because they're still kind of like light, but they've got all those lovely autumn tones to them. So again, quite a good transitional piece. It's still kind of warm. When we were in London this weekend, it was still warm and I wore this one. I'm randomly holding this belt because I wanted to show you it with it off. I actually got this one in a size extra small, so I size down because it is kind of baggy and big, actually full length. Which I mean, there may be times when I wear it like this if I want to, but I often would wear it with a belt. This one again, I've had for years and years. I think this one was Jack Wills when I worked there as a teenager. There you go, that's what the belt. The nice thing with these kind of dresses in the autumn season is that it's often quite breezy here in the UK. So as you're kind of like walking along, it really like flows and dances with you. I love a little bit of a sway, as you guys know. The arms are really gorgeous too. The one thing I will say is that because I went down to an extra small, I'm finding that the, um, Elastic on this is quite tight, so I'm gonna see if a seamstress locally can make it a little bit bigger for me. <laughs> Just so that it's comfortable. Obviously you want it to sit up, but right now it's like a bit restrictive. For reference, if you've noticed, the little slip comes with the dress. So it actually comes attached to the shoulder up there, so you don't have to buy one. You could equally though, I think this one would look really nice with a darker brown slip underneath to make it a little bit darker when it gets into the colder winter months. Comfort levels in this outfit is like a 10 out of 10. Again, could be in my pajamas. Um, I picked up this cardigan from H&M, which is lovely and oversized. Really love the like oatmeal-y kind of color and also the big tortoiseshell buttons, which I have a little bit of soft spot for. Um, and it's got these really nice, I love like the slits up the side. They come quite far up. Also means that like if you wanted to, you could tuck them in a little bit at the front just to show a little bit more of a silhouette if you kind of like doing it more like that. I don't mind it baggy. I haven't actually got a t-shirt on underneath here, but some of the time I might wear it with a t-shirt on underneath. And then the trousers are actually um, from the white company. Let me move you back. It might be kind of hard to see the trousers because I'm going dark brown on dark brown, but they are like butter. They are so soft. They feel a lot like leggings, but I feel like they don't look like leggings. They look a lot smarter. I like that they're like baggy at the bottom, I've got them rolled, if you can see a few times, which makes it really easy for them to wear them with like Chelsea boots, or like a shorter boot, or equally a trainer, or something like a brogue. I'll be honest, I live in my trainers in this like transitional period, mostly these at the moment. Slip them on, slip them off, easy peasy. Okay guys, I need your advice with these. Last year I saw these Grandad Dunk jumpers, I found one that I really liked in a boutique, but it wasn't in my size. So I kind of left it. This year I was like, I'm gonna get a few. So I picked up this one. This one's a little bit more on the cheaper side, but I don't think it flashes me at all. I don't know whether it's something to do with how this comes down. I really love the green color. It goes nicely with this new shirt that I've got. Um, oh, that doesn't look great, but. <laughs> you could either have it like really baggy and chill, or obviously you could kind of like tuck it off a bit. What do you think? I'm not sure. I've got another one, which I'll put on with this blouse too, so you can kind of see them in comparison. But is it because of like this bit here? I don't know. Would it be better if I had one that was... Let me try on the other one. <laughs> I think this one looks better. It looks a little bit more modern, so you've got like the turtleneck to it. And what I do like about this one, my mum wasn't sure about this, it does make it look a bit like a pinny, I think, but it's kind of got like an open side to it. Which I think when you've got your arm up, obviously looks a bit weird, but <laughs> how 
often but I'm gonna walk around with my arms up probably not very often so yeah it's got this like cool bit to the side here that actually has like a button on it so I don't, I don't know why would you ever want to like totally open that maybe have more of like a poncho feel I don't think I'd ever do that I like this kind of mushroom color too what do we think are they both a no should I keep any of them undecided now usually I would pass by this coat because I think, oh, is it a bit cool for me? But I really love the colour and I also love the design that was going through it. Now I say, is it too cool for me? Because it's really boxy. It's that kind of like very oversized jacket. But I thought it would come in really useful for just a jacket that I wanted to fling on and go out. It was only £34.99, so I feel like perfect for the price tag. And I've got a few layers on under here, so it does look a little bit bunched. I did size down. I actually, I do have the small and the extra small. I'll try on the, this is the extra small. So you can kind of see the size wise, but I felt like the small went up a huge amount. Just seemed that much baggier on me. <laughs> I mean, it needs a bit of styling. Yeah, I think even though it's supposed to be oversized, the extra small is probably a bit better. A great layering piece, I love having these long sleeve tops. This one is really soft again. It's got lovely ribbed detail to it, and I loved the neckline. I just thought it was kind of different, a little bit elegant. Uh, it's lovely and tight on, without being too tight. And what they've really cleverly done here, I think, is that they've like given that a little bit more material around the tummy area. So you got, you got just like a little bit of space there if you are feeling a bit bloated. It's not super tight, but it's still like quite nice and tight here. Basically, I'm trying to say it's a flattering fitted t-shirt, which you don't always get. A lot of my thermals are like really tight and they're just, they're not pretty when you've got like the tight jeans on and the rolls. <laughs> pretty sure this is the last piece now. It's same as the cardigan from the Aaron Crafts and it's, it is beautifully crafted actually. It's really, really stunning. This one has like lots of different cable knits all over it and then it has like this rolled neck to it which is kind of like relaxed, a bit elegant. Um, it's also got it on the sleeve too. This one again I think was in the medium and it's also merino wool as well but this one is quite long in length so I've got it wrapped around there but it actually like if you prefer jumpers that go like way over your bum this one goes right down over my bum there, which is quite nice. Like sometimes if you were just like practically <laughs> gonna have lots of layers on and maybe a coat over it and you just wanna be warm, you can have it down long, like so. Though I have to say, it is definitely still too hot for this at the moment. And a long sleeve, I've got that long sleeve on underneath. Whew. I actually really love having that rail in this room. I will always have a little rail because I think sometimes when you get some new things in, the kind of person, you know, like at Christmas where you want to put all your presents out on the table and just be able to look at them for a little while, like bask in them and enjoy them. And the same with my clothes. I want to have them out and I like see all the like, autumn colours and be inspired by them when I walk in. And I actually find that it does inspire me to wear more for my actual wardrobe because I see those see the colours and then like I gravitate towards other things in my wardrobe that I might not be when they're just in there with the doors closed but anyway I think I'm going to sign off this video here hope you enjoyed seeing some of the awesome pieces I have in usually I often get asked like what I'm wearing in videos usually I feature all of my items in these kind of videos for the season so you can see them like properly tried on and um, I'll have all of the links below let me know on the granddad jumpers though are they worth keeping do you have one that you wear quite often or did you buy one that you don't wear at all because that's what I hope not to do um, but I will see you guys in the next one which will be more of a homey autumn video and I can't wait to get the home feeling all cozy and autumnal see you in that one bye guys